Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to talk about the uh, Charlotte Roval for the uh, Xfinity Series. I haven't really covered any NASCAR races, like recap the last few for Xfinity or Cup. So, you know, it's been more focused on, uh, you know, college football, uh, NFL, like, NFL news stuff, NBA stuff, just a lot of NFL, baseball content, stuff like that. But, but I'm thought, yeah, I might as well talk with the Charlotte Roval NASCAR Xfinity Series, a playoff elimination race. So I thought, hmm, why not just talk about it? Um, I mean, I just, I just don't care for the Roval anymore. I mean, I just don't care for it. Right. It's like, do we really want to want this again? I mean, a regular 300 mile Xfinity race at Charlotte would probably be way better than what we got today. I mean, the Roval's run its course, no pun intended, but I mean, I guess it's here to stay. But I don't know if a 300 mile race at Charlotte would be way better than what we got today because Xfinity at Charlotte earlier this year was kind of mid. I feel like the Xfinity at Charlotte and the 300 mile would just be mid. So it's, you're literally comparing mid to mid. Add to me. My cup, if they had a second Charlotte Oval race, I think it'd be better for Cup than Xfinity. Because, I don't know. It's kind of just mid. The intermediates on Xfinity have been kind of mid this year. But even as, I mean, I enjoy road courses. But I support an Oval return to have two races instead of just one. But, you know, that's just me, personally. The racing was just kind of mid. I mean, there were some good battles. I guess. Uh, and there at the end, Mayer taking the lead, running away with it, and advancing into the next round of the playoffs was fun for him to get a walk-off win in a must-win situation. Uh, he had the fastest car. Uh, he dominated really the whole race. I uh, do a pitch strategy. I mixed back there. Was able to pass Custer for the lead. Just pretty much drive away for the win. So he got a walk-off win. I believe it's. I think it's his third or fourth career win, and the big win to advance the next round. Uh, Jeb Burton and Allgaier had that crash late. Uh, Jeb Burton completely just missed the corner, took him and Allgaier out. Just sucks for Allgaier, but Jeb Burton had no choice but to stay out. Uh, he just got a bad restart, just had to send there to the corner. I mean, really sucks though for Jeb and Allgaier. But Allgaier has already advanced the next round, so I'm sure he isn't that mad over it. I know they have a tournament race car now, though. Um, your stage winners, Justin Allgaier won the first stage, and John Newman checked one stage two. Pay the drivers that already advanced the next round get pick up some more uh, playoff points going into the next round of the playoffs. I'll give the race a 5 out of 10. I mean, it was a, it's was just a mid-race. I mean, the Roval, like the first few times they went there was exciting because you had some exciting finishes. But it's just clear, it's without the rain, like the only good Xfinity race I can recall at the Roval was uh, 2021 in a, basically a monsoon with a downpour. It's really the only thing that makes road courses exciting now. Like, I enjoy them, it's just they're not good anymore. It's just like, we need rain to make it exciting. I mean, I'll go over the, my notes. Uh, stage 1, Justin Algar, or won it. Uh, nothing really happened in Stage 1, to be honest. Uh, stage 2, Al Sabay hit the wall run, while running the top 5. Very unfortunate. If, the, if he didn't get that damage, I think he would have easily had a top 5 car in this race. Instead, he finished 15th instead of getting a top 5 that he deserved. Uh, Josh Barron, Stage 2, spins. Thought he had like a had a power steering issues. And he come back. I forgot where he finished, but I think he was in the top 5. And Stage 2, uh, daily spins, and plus he stops on the front stretch of Kane, couldn't get to pit road after he blew a tire and spun out. So, um, yeah, it's all for Stage 2. John Hearn even checked when Stage 2 under caution after pit stops happened, he stayed out, was able to win the stage. And Stage 3, uh, Stephen Parsons spins, um, debris caution, which I thought was very questionable. I think it was like a piece of sign, but it was like off the racing surface. It didn't really need to be a caution, but NASCAR... Need their like entertainment. I guess they need their entertainment caution. May all guy Burton crash as I talked about about a minute ago in the video. Um, Burton stayed out. He sent into the corner after getting a not too great of a jump on the restart. Crash him and all guy crash. Blame Parkinside. Oh, I'm gonna be Brian Scott. I wanna be in the crash too. 
Uh, Mayor takes the lead on the restart from Custer. Made a little bit of contact. Was able to win the, win the race and advance the next round. In a must-win situation, a walk-off win. He's proven to be pretty, a pretty clutch driver. Um, Sam Mayer gets the win. Cole Custer second. Josh Berry third. Riley Hurts fourth. Gas Grand fifth. We're going the race results. Parker Klugerman sixth. Daniel Henrik seventh. John Hunter Nemechek eighth. Austin Hill ninth. Sean Creed runs up top ten. Sammy Smith 11th, Chandler Smith 12th, Ryan Seek 13th, Mike Snyder 14th, Alex Bay 15th, Jordan Taylor 16th, Brian Poole 17th, Stephen Parsons 18th, Russell Cruz 19th, round top 20 is Josh Williams. 21st, Leland Honeyman, 22nd, Parker Retzloff, Parker Retzloff, 23rd, Jeremy Clements, 24th, Connor Mosnack, 25th, Josh Balicki, 26th, Kyle Weatherman, 27th, Sage Karam. Here in the top 20, kind of a, uh, didn't get the result they deserved, Blaine Perkins 28th, Brandon Jones, 29th round, top 30 is Anthony Alfredo, 20, 31st, Joe Graff Jr., 32nd, Kyle C., 33rd, Alex Gannett, 34th, Jeb Burton, 35th, Connor Daly, 36th, Ryan Ellis, 37th, Josh, Justin Allgaard, around the field, 38th and last place is Brett Moffat. So, yeah, that's um, all I have to say uh, for this video. On the playoff standings, going to the next round, they've reset it. John Neiman checks plus 37, Austin Hill plus 21, Algar plus 17, Mayer plus 2, Custer's minus 2, Chandler Smith minus 11, Sean Cream minus 12, and Sammy Smith minus 14. So that's your playoff standings. Come to the next round of the playoffs for Xfinity. So that's all to say here. Until next time, a lot. Peace.